Welcome back, guys. We are in chapter five. Um, yesterday, Monday, was a vacation day. So, hope you had a nice uh, day off, relaxing day. Um, got lots of sleep, whatever you needed to do. Let's start, guys. Chapter five. Uh, this chapter, guys, is the final chapter before our midterm test practice all right so if we go here chapter five we go down to chapter six you will see that chapter six says where is it where is it where is it here it is here it is midterm preparation all right so all of chapter six is is just going back to chapter one two three four five and preparing for our midterm test okay all right, let's, uh, let's go back up here. So what we're going to do today is look at chapter five. Now, chapter five, guys, is <laughs> it's not very difficult, but there are lots of words to remember, but no grammar. There's no real grammar. Um, we're not looking at past tense, present tense, future tense. We already did that. Now we're looking at these special words called phrasal verbs or phrases i should say okay not words phrases so we're looking at these phrases called phrasal verbs and we're just going to practice using them because they are very very common we use phrasal verbs i probably use phrasal verbs every day okay so let's do this all right these words here guys are the phrasal verbs okay these are phrasal verbs this is the grammar. This is the main point today, okay? So, the question is, what is what is a phrasal verb? All right, what is a phrasal verb? So, super quick. What you, what you probably need to do for this, guys, is do these 15 words, right? Do these 15 words and 15 questions, but make sure that you double check your answer, okay? Because sometimes if you if you don't know what the word means and you check on the bonyak, right? You check all the, uh, you know, on the dictionary or translator. Sometimes it doesn't give you the right meaning, okay? So make sure that you read carefully the sentence and make sure that your sentence makes sense. Whatever you put in the blank space, make sure it makes sense. So read it and read it again and check and make, make sure it makes sense. And then in next class, we will check these 15 words, okay? But these are phrasal verbs, okay? So if we go down here, let's take a look at the grammar focus. Okay, this is the grammar focus. So phrasal verbs, what is a phrasal verb? Phrasal verbs are made by adding a preposition. So we did this in chapter four. Junchis are preposition, an adverb, or both to a verb. This changes the basic meaning of the verb, okay? So, let's take a look, all right? So, we have our verb. This is our verb, break, okay? So, something, I broke my cell phone, I broke my watch, I broke something, right? Everybody knows what break is. You drop, you break something, okay? But if I add this into or up okay if I add this to break now we have a completely new word or a new phrase new meaning okay so it doesn't mean break it doesn't mean this anymore not the same thing I broke my watch if I add into now this is different meaning someone broke into my car Okay, so break into means to go into somewhere, but you have to break to go in. Okay, so maybe there's a, a thief, right? Hold up, right? There's a thief and he kicks the door, the door goes down, he breaks into the house, he breaks into the car. Okay, so it's a different meaning. Okay, it's similar but different. Similar but different. Okay, if we look at break up, what are we talking about when we say break up? 
Um, let's read the sentence. You can guess it, right? I will break up with my boyfriend next week. Okay, so I think you guys know what break up means, all right? So if I put, you know, a heart here, this is a heart, but we broke up, <laughs> all right? The heart is broken. So that means what happened? The relationship is over, okay? It's finished. We broke up, crying. Oh my gosh, I don't have a girlfriend or boyfriend anymore, okay? So it's similar because it's still breaking, but up means the relationship, to break up something into pieces. We break something up. My heart, my relationship, broken, okay? So in this chapter, guys, there are so many words. You see this? All of these words, all of these words. And then all of these words, we don't have time to do all of these words. Um, and then there's more words in the reading, etc., etc. We don't have time to do this, okay? So we're going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on these words, all right? So these words will be in your quiz and any words that we use from this these two pages here okay so just focus on those words don't worry about all the other words um, for the grammar focus okay so what i want to do guys i'm going to quickly write down here uh, a couple of uh, meanings and what i want you to do even if you don't know what it means even if you if, even if it's a new word I think you can kind of guess what it means, okay? Because remember, we said break into, so that means we're going into somewhere. So I broke into someone's car. I think you can guess what that means, all right? You don't need to know exactly what it means. You can kind of guess what it means, okay? So from, the, from these three, all right, from these three meanings, or I should say from these two, prepositions, which one means um, ending a relationship, okay? Um, I already told you, so you should know. Um, from this page, uh, this uh, these uh, phrasal verbs, which one means quit university? Which one means to quit university? All I want you to do, guys, I'm writing this down. All I want you to do, just put a little, you know, circle or square around which one do you think means to quit university, all right? Next one, buy something. Buy, sorry, buy or give something. To someone. All right, and here, which one means get out of bed? Okay, so quickly, five seconds, just circle whichever one you think means what I've written there, okay? You can try and guess. Five. Okay, and that's a long five seconds. Okay, so what do we have here? We have drop. So you guys know what drop means, all right? I have something in my hand. I have my, my lip balm in my hand, and I told it just, I dropped it, right? There we go. Easy. <laughs> all right, I nearly dropped it on the floor, that's why. Drop off. Now, what does that mean? Uh, when will you drop off my car? When will you drop off my car? Okay, so drop off something means to 
in this sentence means to deliver. All right. When will you drop off my car? So you have my car. I want you to drive the car to me and drop it to me. Drop it off at my house. Okay. That's what that means. Drop out. Drop out means to quit university. Okay. So don't drop out of school, which means don't quit university. Okay. The next one here. We have get in, get out, get up. All right, get, get in, get out, get up. So which one means to buy or to give something to someone? Okay, to buy or to give something to someone. Well, if I say to you, get me some coffee. Get me some coffee means buy me some coffee. Okay, get me some coffee means go buy me some coffee or bring me some coffee. All right. If I want to say get out of bed, I say get up. All right. What time do you get up? What time do you wake up? What time do you get out of bed? Okay. That's what that means. Um, let's take a look. Let's take a look at uh, here. Get in. All right. She didn't get in the taxi. Again, very simple, right? Get in, get out. All right. Here, get out. We got out of Busan. So get into somewhere or get out of somewhere. Very simple. All right. So again, you can guess because you know what in and you know what out means. So you can guess. All right. You can look at the sentence and kind of guess what it means. All right. Again, if you don't know, you can always check. All right. Let's keep going down. So we have put, put off, put up with. Which one means to delay. Which one means to delay? All right. So remember, delay means like to do something tomorrow or not not now, right? To delay something. Um, we have take, take off, take over. Which one means to leave? To leave somewhere. All right. Um, leave, not leave like the tree leaf, but leave like tonada, right? To to go out, to leave somewhere. All right. Which one means to leave? And then we have over here, guys, we have turn. There's lots of turn ones, right? We have turn, turn down, turn into, turn off, turn up. Okay? So I'm going to give you two here. Which one means... Which one means refuse? To refuse something. right? To refuse. I don't want it. No. I turn... Oh, I nearly gave you the answer. I turn, hmm, all right. Okay, and last one here. What does, what word, or what phrasal verb means to arrive, all right? To arrive at a place. So to leave and then to arrive at a place, okay? So five seconds, quickly, put a circle around the phrasal verb that means what these verbs mean. And you can read the sentence. And again, I think if you read the sentence, you can kind of guess what it means, even if you've never seen the word in your life. All right, let's take a look at the first one. So we have put, I put my phone in my pocket. All right, so to put something somewhere, very easy, very useful word, put, put it down, put it on the table, put it in your pocket. Put off, he always puts off doing homework. Hmm. Put off homework. So I don't do it today. I put it off. So this one means to delay. Okay. I put off. I postpone. Right. Postpone again means to delay, to put off. That's what that means. Okay. And last one here, guys, to put up with. 
I won't put up with this noise. To put up with, guys, means to um, to bear with something. Okay, to put up with means. Um, let's say you have a baby. I have a baby. Okay. Oh no, that's not baby. Let's use a. I have a child. Uh, high school student. Usually, are very. Uh, sometimes very difficult, right? High school students. So let's say we've got a high school student, and the high school student in my class is just making noise. Okay, it's a high school student, not a baby. High school student, and the high school student is just talking and making noise, and I cannot teach. So I will say, "Come on, like that's it. Stop. No more." Okay. So this means if I just stop, no more. That means I'm not putting up with it anymore. Okay, I'm not putting up with it. I'm not going to listen to your noise anymore. This is the end. Okay, so I'm not putting up with your noise anymore. Okay, now we have take. All right. So again, to take means has many meanings. Right, has many meanings to take.、Um, but in this sentence here, she won't take another cookie. That just means. You know, to take something from the cookie jar, right? To take a cookie, she won't take another cookie. All right, take off. We will take off at three o'clock. We will take off at three o'clock. So we will do something at three o'clock. Hmm. What does that mean? We will take off. Now, if you think about it, think about a rocket. All right, when you have a rocket, and the rocket is about to. You know, I can't draw a rocket. It's a terrible rocket <laughs> into the air, right? That's a rocket. This is called take off. All right, this is take off. So if you're on an airplane, airplanes take off. They fly, but they come off the ground. That's called take off. Okay, so that's what this means. Oopsie, that's what this means, guys. To take off means to leave. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, I'll just leave that there. All right. So take off means to leave. All right. So if I say to you guys, "Hey guys, sorry, I need to take off," it means I need to go. I need to leave. All right. That's what that means. All right. Let's continue. So many words. Too many words. All right. Let's just quickly do these here. So turn down. Refuse. Turn into. Refuse. Turn. Refuse. Which one means? To refuse. Okay, so let's read the sentence again. I think you can guess which one it is. All right, turn. You can't turn left on this road. You know what turn means? To turn left, to turn right, to turn, turn the page. All right, you know what that means. Okay, next one. Turn down. I never turn down chocolate cake. Hmm. Okay. What's the next one? Turn into the meeting turned into a party. So if I look at this, the meeting, a party, the meeting was a morning. It was a meeting, and then it turned into a party. Okay, which means this means to change. All right, to change into it changed into a party. It was a meeting, and then we had birthday cake, and suddenly it's a party. Okay, so this one is not to refuse. I never. Refuse chocolate cake. I never refuse. Okay. So if you give me chocolate cake, I will always eat it. I will always take it, and I will eat it. Okay, because I love chocolate cake. Okay. So I never turn down chocolate cake. That is, I never refuse. I don't refuse. Okay. Last one. Turn off and turn up. Okay. Which one means to arrive? All right, to arrive somewhere, what's up? Right, what's up? So, will you turn off the computer? Will you arrive the computer? No, that doesn't make sense, right? So, turn off. You guys know what turn off means, all right? To turn off, to turn on, you know, you know, right? But here, what time will she turn up? What time will she turn up? What time will she arrive? Okay, and that's what that means. So, again, guys. I think you can kind of guess what these words mean, but again, 
focus on these words that we've done in class and that should be enough for the uh, quiz that we're doing and should be enough for your speaking test as well. All right. Now, we have about five minutes left. This is what I want you to do. So don't worry about all this up here. All right, we'll do some of that in the speaking class. Um, now I want you guys to, this is your, this is your kind of preparation time for the speaking class. All right. So what I want you to do is this, go to this page, right? Page 72, 72, 73. Okay. And these are activities, right? These are activities. I'll write it here. Okay. Activities, a list of activities. Okay, so what things do we have? We have um, eating out, uh, wake up late, work out, dress up, uh, stay up late in the weekend. Lots of stuff over here. Okay, so we have lots of activities, things you do during your day, in a day, or yesterday, or whenever. Okay, activities, verbs, actions. So all I want you to do, guys is I want you to choose, I'm going to write it down, I'll write it down here, all right, I want you to choose, choose five activities and make five questions to ask your partner, um, to ask your partner in the speaking class, okay, so what do I mean? I want you to do this. I'll give you a little example. Okay, so I'm going to choose five things. All right, five activities. So uh, let's see. I'm going to choose eating out, uh, stay up late this weekend, and if I go down here. Okay, I just do that. Right. Uh, let's see. Looking forward to something and clean this room and order takeout. Order takeout food in the past week, okay? So I've got five things, five things. I put a circle around it and then I'm going to make five questions, okay? So I need to create a question. This is not a question, guys. This is not a question. You need to make a question, all right? So what is the question? All right, let's choose, uh, let's choose this one. Has ordered some take out food in the past week, all right? So what is my question? When I talk to my partner, I want to ask my partner, have you, right? This is a question. Have you ordered take, so now I can use the words, right? Take out food in the past week, okay? And that's my question. So again, you need to make a question. You don't just, don't just say has ordered, this is not a question. So I need to change the, act, the action into a question. All right, so here's my action, here's my question. All right, and then next class, you can ask your partner your five questions. All right, so next class, you ask your partner, hey partner, have you ordered takeout food in the past week? And your partner might say, yes, I ordered some chicken from um, you know, how about you? All right. And then you just have a little baby conversation. All right. How about you? And your partner says, yeah, me too. I ordered something from here. And then we have a talk and you say, oh, what's your favorite menu? What's your favorite item on the menu at Gune? Oh, I like gochubasasa. Fantastic. Everyone's happy, all right? We talk about five questions, okay? So you need to make five questions. Don't forget, all right? So make five questions. Choose five activities, make five questions. That's your project, that's your assignment. And then in the class, we will have a conversation, okay? That's it, guys. This is an easy class, all right? Just words, just remember these words, all right? Choose five questions and we will talk about them in the class. All right, guys. Again, if you have any questions, please email me. Um, also, guys, when you email me, it's a good idea to write down your class 
number. Okay, so if your class is, you know, um, 0, 02 2 or 136 or 0, 071, whatever your class is, email me your name, the class number, or your class time, day and time. And that's very helpful because I can quickly find you. All right, I cannot find you. If you just give me your name, I have to, you know, scroll through all the names to find you. Okay, so have a good day, guys. I will see you in the speaking class. Bye-bye.